Kids and G Kids, and welcome to Learning Sessions brought to us by Amazing Kids Interactive Center and Roll Your Philippines and Robinson's Townville. Wow, we're so excited to have you again with us, and we're so happy to learn with you this afternoon. My name is Omni La Rosa. And my name is Mia La Rosa. And Wow, and we will be your facilitators for this afternoon. Yes, we are so excited to learn with you. We're so glad to have you with us in this session. This is just the third of, th oh, this is actually the final leg, okay, of three sessions. So please feel free to share the link of this live to your friends by clicking the share button below. And don't forget to like the FB pages of Amazing Kids Interactive Center. Did you like that already? Amazing Kids Interactive Center, Grow Your Philippines. And in Instagram and Robinson's Townville. If you haven't yet, make sure you like that already so you can get more updated on the upcoming sessions and other activities brought to you by Grolier, Amazing Kids Interactive Center, and Robinson's Townville. And speaking of Robinson's Townville, they are inviting you, G Kid, and all other kids, okay, to join the Robinson's Kids Club. Would you like to know more about the Robinson's Kid, Robinson's Townville Kids Club? Yes. Really? Would, no. All you have to do is to follow this instruction, okay, or instructions. First and foremost, you have to visit any of the selected Robinson supermarket stores and malls near you, and then have your mom or dad or guardian. Fill out the registration form, okay? And then, to know more about Robinson's Townville Kids Club, just visit their website at www.robinsonstownville.ph. Sounds exciting? Really? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Guys, today we're going to learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. Yes, that's right. So make sure you are tuned in, make sure you're all ears, and make sure you take a selfie of you and your kid watching this live session. Would you like to know why? Because there's an ongoing giveaway, and each and every one of you has a chance to win amazing prizes from Grow Year. Okay, so how do we how do they win the prizes? Would you know would you have any idea? No, not at the moment. So is that game? There's a game, but later on. But for now, <laughs> make sure you follow these simple mechanics, okay? Like the Grow Your PH and Robinson's Townville Facebook pages and also the Amazing Kids Interactive Center Facebook page. Take a selfie with you and your kid watching this live session and make sure you share it on your personal profile. In the caption, answer the question, why would you entrust your child's learning journey to Grow Your? And use the hashtag, hashtag Grolier, PHX Robinson's Townville, hashtag Learn at Home with Grolier, hashtag Amazing Kids Interactive Center. Make sure to tag five of your G parent friends or would be G parent friends and encourage them to do the same. Now, three lucky winners will be chosen to win Grolier learning materials and the results will be posted at the Facebook page of Grolier PH. So, what will be those prizes? These are the prizes at stake. You have a chance to win a Grow Your Amazing English set, Grow Your Math Plate, or the Grow Your Fun Thinker set. Is it that amazing, Zia? Yeah. Really? What can you say about those prizes? Awesome. <laughs> you are a woman of few words today, huh? <laughs> okay, so make sure you take that selfie with you and your kids watching this so you will have a chance to win any of those amazing grow your interactive learning materials i see you you're copying me <laughs> okay so there you have it two parents join now and i hope you were able to take a screenshot of those mechanics so you can easily follow it later even after the live is over because <laughs> winners will be announced tonight at 8 p.m on grow your ph Facebook page and of course we would love to make this session fun or more fun and interactive so please feel free to share your thoughts your questions any comment you may have on the comment section as we talk about today's topic so watch till the end of the session because as said by Zia earlier we have a game <laughs> we have a little quiz okay so make sure you're all ears <laughs> kids are you ready Yes, <laughs> let's all get started or let's get the learning started. Today, we're going to talk about the 
life cycle of a butterfly. That's why I have butterflies here. We have a, where? There. Okay. So, do you like butterflies, Ria? Yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yes, I love butterflies so much. Every time I see one. Colorful. And colorful, yes. Every time I see one, I am so happy. And for this session, we will be using Grolier's I Wonder Why, Caterpillar's Each So Much uh, book, okay? Each. Yeah, butterfly. Why Caterpillar's Eat So Much? Yeah, did I say each? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like each. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for correcting me, Zia. So, Again, so we're going to discuss about this book. Okay. Ta-da! Yay. So, okay, kids, if you have your I Wonder Why set, open your I Wonder Why Caterpillars Eat So Much to yeah. Phase... I, I, to, I know to Phase 4. <laughs> to Page 4. Yeah. I, keep on, I keep on stuttering now. Why? Maybe I'm too excited. But before we start... Before we start learning about the life cycle of a butterfly, let's make sure to activate, activate the pink pen. So that's how you activate the pink pen. Very easy, right? So let's get started. Okay. Before we even discuss about the life cycle of a butterfly, Zia, why don't we talk about the definition or the meaning of life cycle? So yes. why, yes, why don't you show them through the pink pen what a life cycle is? A life cycle. Okay, let's. A life cycle is a series of changes that happens to every living thing. It starts from the moment an egg is fertilized and goes on until death. Not all life cycles are the same, but they often follow the same sort of pattern. Thank you, I wonder why. So, thank you for giving us the definition of a life cycle. So, according to Grolier's I Wonder Why book, Okay, a life cycle is a series of changes that happens to every li living thing. So that means you and I, we also have our own life cycle. Yeah. Animals, do they have life cycles? Yes. yes. So give me an example of an animal or an insect that has a life cycle. Caterpillars. Caterpillars or grasshoppers. Grasshoppers, yes. What else? Dragonflies. Dragonflies. So basically almost all um insects have a life cycle okay or even human beings even animals they all we all have a life cycle okay and this life cycle is also determined by the word called metamorphosis have you heard that word zia haven't heard of that word yet so metamorphosis is actually um it actually means transformation or change okay Okay, so metamorphosis. So basically, the butterfly and moth develops through a process called metamorphosis. It is a Greek word or it came from Greek words that mean transformation or change in shape. So butterflies have a complete metamorphosis, but there are also other insects that has or that have incomplete metamorphosis. Okay, so for this purpose, for, this, uh, for the purpose of learning today, we're going to talk about the metamorphosis of a butterfly. That can be described through the so-called life cycle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So there are four main stages of a butterfly's life cycle. So the first stage is called egg. The second stage is called larva or not hatchling. It's called caterpillar. Okay, the third stage is called pupa. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So let's Sa. Sa. Yes, later we'll talk more about that. And then the final stage is called an adult. So yes. let's go back to our I Wonder Why book. Okay. Guys, did you know that a butterfly is an adult caterpillar? Oh, yeah. How did you know that? That's uh, there. Very good. Okay, so you are a keen observer, Zia. That's right. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. What okay. about kid? That means growing kid and growing kid. <laughs> yes, you are indeed. So now, let us talk about the first step in a life cycle. What is the first step in a life cycle? The first step in a life cycle is usually when an egg is fertilized. Two 
adults of the same species collect, mate, and produce young. In butterflies, the young start out as tiny eggs. A caterpillar grows inside each egg until it is ready to hatch. Okay, so according to rulers, I wonder why the first step in a life cycle is usually when an egg is fertilized. So maybe it will be good if we show them or if we see how an egg is actually laid down or what, what, what a but butterfly egg looks like and how it gets fertilized. So let's see it from here. Are you excited to see a live egg? There you go. So this is how a stage one of the life cycle looks like. Okay. There. That's how an actual egg looks like. So, can you see the movement inside the eggs, yeah? So, that's how um, a caterpillar is developed, okay? During the first stage of the life cycle, okay? And then? I mean, that's how the, the thing inside is how the caterpillar hatches. That's how the uh, caterpillar gets, or how that's how the baby butterfly gets fertilized. It's not a caterpillar yet. It's um, it's still moving to another stage, or it's still the stage before it becomes a full-blown caterpillar. Okay, so that's the first stage. Now, it says here that okay, so it says here that caterpillars hatch from eggs. Okay, yeah. So basically, what happens what, when that happens? You're already on the second stage of the life cycle of a butterfly. So how does that look like? This is how it looks like the second stage to the, the butterfly's life cycle. It is called larva or caterpillar. So as you can see, it hatches itself from the egg and it looks like the teensy bitsy caterpillar, a baby, 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 baby caterpillar. Now, <clears throat> the job of the caterpillar is to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Okay? Yes. Are you a caterpillar? <laughs> I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> but I I say no. Because you're not a caterpillar. You're just like a caterpillar. You're a growing kid. So just like a growing kid like you, caterpillars need to eat and eat and eat and eat in order for itself to grow. So People also need to eat and eat. Yes. That's right. But not like the caterpillar because the caterpillar really, really Has eats so much. Eat. Yes, they have to eat the whole day. That's why some stems, diba, they have some bites, they have uh, some leaves, they have some cuts because sometimes the caterpillar eats them in order to Not grow sometimes. itself. All the, time. All the time, okay. In order to grow itself because the caterpillar can actually grow itself 100 times more its size because it eats a lot. Okay, now I'll tell you why the caterpillar never stops eating. Okay, this is because... Okay, on the third stage, which is pupa, it already stops eating, okay? Here, I'll show you first. Okay, so here it says, Why do caterpillars have so much? When a caterpillar hatches, it eats leaves until it is as big as it can grow. Then it makes a hard case, or pupa, around its body. The caterpillar changes into a butterfly inside this case. So you see, Zia, when it already becomes a pupa, that's the time it stops eating. Okay. okay. It's called a cocoon. Well, um, yeah, you're right, because um, when the pupa, this one, stage three, pupa forms around the caterpillar. So the pupa is also called the cocoon. It's like um, the, the caterpillar is making a house for itself. And then that's where it stays until it becomes a full-blown butterfly or a full-grown butterfly adult. So when it um when it stays in its cocoon, it does not eat anymore. It just stays there without eating. Okay, it's like it's sleeping for a long time. Okay. Now let's show them what a pupa looks like. So this is stage three. This is how a pupa looks like. Okay. So as you can see. The butterfly already creates um, a, a house for itself or a cocoon for itself, okay, where it will stay long until it becomes an adult. Yes. Yeah. So look at how it does that. 
See? So, of course, this is in hyperlapse mode, but in real life, it is not as fast as that. So, this is how the pupa looks like. And then, it proceeds to the fourth stage, okay, which we now call the adult. Okay, so when it becomes an adult, it leaves its cocoon like that. And it turns into a butterfly. And it turns into an adult yeah. butterfly. So now let's learn, let's learn more from I wonder why. Okay, and then try to find out how a butterfly gets out. Okay, so let's see here. How does a butterfly get out? The pupa splits. So the butterfly can crawl out. It pumps blood into its crop of wings to open them out. Then it splits in the sun until they are dry. The adult butterfly then flies off to find a mate and starts a new life cycle. Oh. Did you see that? Did you hear that? So it just stays there until it's completely dried out by the sun. And then it goes out of its cocoon, just like how we saw in the video, right? You see now, it's already an adult butterfly after leaving its cocoon. Okay, so what can you say about uh, what we learned today? Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so would you like to know more facts about uh, oh, the yeah. caterpillar? Very, 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 very cool. Wow, that's a lot of berries. <laughs> that's a lot of berries. Okay, so let's try to find out more cool stuff. Okay, from this I wonder why page. So let's play a game. Are you ready to play a game? Yes. Eight tablets, up to thirteen thousand eggs a day. So it says queen termites can lay up to thirty thousand eggs a day. Is that true or false? Let's see. Excellent. Excellent. That, that I even heard about that and then I did it. No, it's written here. Maybe we just see. 100 and 200 eggs in their lifetime. But queen termites can lay up to 30,000 eggs in a single day. Extra ordinary. <laughs> Thank you, I wonder why, Ting Pen, for sharing that. And that was a cool joke. That's not a joke. That's a trivia. No. Ah, you mean the expression, the extraordinary. Say it again. Extra. <laughs> again, extraordinary. Extra. Extra. Ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try to search some more facts. Can you find the caterpillar hatching from an egg? Where is, where, where is it? Have another go. So you got the wrong answer. What else? Caterpillar hatching from an egg. Okay. Try this. Correct. Oh, there. Because kanina you no pointed to the egg. That's why it, it said you have to have another go. Put the there. So it says they have been around for 240 million years. Wow. That means if uh, termites live long. Or, um, Longer than a person? Yeah, well, it, uh, it says how many million years? Right? So a person only lives for like 70 years uh, on average. Some are blessed enough to live more than that. If we were termites, then maybe we would last longer than that. And we're going to eat all day. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's a lifetime buffet. <laughs> How about this? Oh, that's just an end. Ah, this is the stop button. Okay. So there you have it. Would you like today's lesson? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is it time for the game? Are you, are you sure you want to have a game already? <laughs> Let's hear from them first. Let's try to um, learn some from our audience also. So let's see. Okay. So, okay. So it says by Aryan. Sabi ni Aryan. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I think Aryan and, um, yeah, and whoever. Uh, let me, let me, let me do it first. <laughs> 
you want to choose? Or oh, how about this? Can you read what uh, Elizabeth Obenza said? Sabi niya dito, me too. I wonder why caterpillar eats too much. Nauubos nila dahon ng plants ko. Ay, naku, totoo yan. Cute silang tingnan, pero kapag ka nangangain na sila ng halaman, parang gusto mo silang ilipat. <laughs> Ayan. So, what else, Nia? Which one would you like to read? Ah, here. We've got here a comment from Kim Penis. Sabi niya, sobrang gusto kong grow here for my kids. Hindi pa lang talaga kaya. Don't worry, mommy, kasi si Growlier have um, different plants that suit naman um, each budget that you may that you may have. Okay. So, we have further answers. Okay. Yeah, let's say hi first to Tita Odessa. Mommy Omni, okay lang po ba? Screenshots ang ipost ko. I think, yes, Mommy Odessa, that's okay. Yes. And then, si Yan Axel says, amazing. Yan. I think um, si Yan meant amazing talaga ang I wonder why. Then we also have a comment here from Kelly Praise. Ha, ha, ha. Totoo naman. <laughs> Ayan. Ay, ito. This is interesting. Sabi ni Shell, yeah, Shell Decano, ang hilig namin mag-collect ng butterfly before. Ay, totoo yan. Did you know, Zia, there are some butterfly collectors. They dry the um, dead butterflies. Parang they preserve the dead butterflies so that they can keep... Um, an eye or they can keep a collection of all available species or all available types of butterflies that they can see. Did you know that? Yeah, so I'll show you some. Siguro we can find some in Google. Yeah. And then Erica Castillo says, nice story for kids, educational and entertaining at the same time. Totoo po. Actually, this is how we normally homeschool. Um, this is how we normally teach Zia. I just give her a um, set of facts that we can learn together. And um, that's how she gets familiarized with the lessons na kailangan niya matutunan. Ito, would you like to see it? Speak to. Oh, sabi ni Love. Read it, come on. Watching with my kids all the way from, from Albay. Hi, sa mga taga-Albay. Hello, Love, to you and your family. Albay is a place... Um, it's a place where uh, we can find the uh, Mayon Volcano. Yeah. Don't be afraid of volcanoes. Uh, they're not alive all the time. Sometimes they're sleeping. And Mayon Volcano is so pretty. Enough. It has a perfect triangular shape. Okay. Very perfectly shaped triangle. I'll show you that. Don't worry. I think it's in one of your books also. So, Joy Angelique Valleta says, magugustuhan talaga ng mga bata ang I wonder why. That's right. Oh, what can you say about I wonder why, Zinia? Like I said earlier, very, 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 very awesome. Very, very, very awesome. <laughs> but oh, the, yes. yes. I remember I saw a book that I wonder why, why, I uh, don't okay, no, Blow their Have you already figured out why volcanoes blow their hooves? Not yet? Or maybe that's one thing that we can discuss uh, next time, no? Let's uh, grab, a, grab a hold of that book from I Wonder Why, then let's learn about volcanoes together. Yeah, sabi ni Odessa, I wonder, I, I remember when I was in grade school, the field trip kami sa Subic, ang daming butterfly. Yes, actually, sobrang ano, sobrang nakakatawa when you bring kids um, to a place where they can see live insects, live animals. Kaya kami, um, what we love about um, being homeschooling uh, family, uh, being a homeschooling family, we can actually immerse ourselves dun sa situation where they can learn this. Like, dito sa bahay, instead of just talking about butterflies and reading about them, we also immerse them, we bring them outside so they can see, out, uh, they can see live butterflies. Oh, yeah. I think four or five road trips already. Four or five road trips already. But here inside the house, or even here in the house, maybe around the house, you see butterflies. They um, go to our flowers, go to our plants. They oh, yeah. try to... Butterflies take on. Those are bees. <laughs> yeah, but butterflies love um, flowery plants so much also. So they love plants in general. 
So actually, one thing that uh, can actually help you determine kung malinis ang isang lugar o malinis ang hangin sa isang lugar or alam mo yun, an environmentally friendly ang isang lugar is kapag nakakita ka ng maraming butterflies or um, insects within that area. Mga moths, mga dragonflies. Dami nila nakikita dito yan sa garahe kasi simula nung naghalaman kami. And sabi ni Scarlett, Kabil, perfect talagang I wonder why. Para sa mga curious minds ng mga chikiting, I remember pa when my child asked me sa galing rainbow. Hindi ka tayo ng mommy brain ko talaga. <laughs> Ay nako, mommy Scarlett, hindi ka nag-iisa dyan. Kahit kami mga parents, itong mga cute na cute na kids na to, sobra dami nilang tanong and hindi ko talaga masasagot lahat ng tanong nila. Well, good thing we have interactive learning materials like I wonder why. Kasi almost all the scientists science facts that they need to know of, or even those that are kumbaga, extra knowledge, they can find here in I Wonder Why. So, so I Wonder Why actually, it has uh, a set of 24 books, different science subjects that they can learn from, different set of questions that um, the book already answers for them. Para yung curiosity nila, kumbaga, ma-feed ng mga tamang information that can help them understand their environment better. That's why we really love this roller and wonder why. So as you can see kanina, with the help of the think pen, even if sila sila lang magkakasama, it allows them to self-study. So even if they don't know how to read yet, with the think pen, like si Zella ko, yung second uh, case niya, uh, she's five years old and she's still learning how to read. Uh, but because of the I wonder why, because um, I wonder why it has the think pen, it allows her to be able to um, know what's written on the book. Kahit hindi pa siya maunong masyadong and then, habang ginagawa niya yun, as she does that, she gets familiarized with every word that the pink pen reads for her. So the next time, she already identifies, ah, this word is the, this word is mom. So kumbaga with the spelling, um, kumbaga the, with, the, with the word that the pink pen read for her, she can recognize from the spelling what kind of word that is the next time she encounters that. And sabi ni Catherine, Favorite na kids ko yung Can You Find featuring I Wonder Why. Very interactive. Ay, that's right. Oo, yung kanina yung ginagawa namin ni Zia. Ito yung Can You Find feature para lang meron kayong reference. Ayan. So, sa I Wonder Why kasi aside from the, those already written on the book, when you click on this um, feature or this um, icon, yung parang search icon, Okay, so it will also, they, it will also tell you to um, find a certain part of the book. So that will engage the kids even more. So sabi niya, can you find a pupa? So Zia, can you find a pupa? Which is the pupa? Try to show them. Good job. There. So basically, it's all, it also allows them to, you know, play, have fun while learning. Diba? Even on their own. So mas maganda talaga if you supervise them. Kasi masaya yung learning experience when you are reading with your kid. Pero during the time naman na gusto nila mapag-isa or during the time na busy ka din, hindi na ginagawa ka, you're busy with household chores or you're busy with work, then you can let them explore on their own. Just give them a set of I Wonder Why books, a set of Go Your Interactive Learning Materials. And there you have it. Kumbaga, voila, they can already grasp the information. How about you? Would you like to share something? Hmm. Hmm. Now, at the moment... <laughs> so, what is your favorite feature of the I Wonder Why book? The facts. Oh, the more facts. Okay, let's show them that feature. That feature tells us more facts that aren't it. That aren't yeah. written on the book. Yeah, so for example... So it, said, it asks you to put the pen on the stripy caterpillar. So yeah. I think here I'll go. Put the That's pen there. Monarch butterfly wings are orange and black. Two rows of spots. Monarch butterfly wings are orange and black. Two rows of spots. Its colors are warning to other insects to stay away. So that uh, particular trivia or fact is not written on the book, but because of the, what do you call it again? The Okay, because of the fact button or uh, find more button, then you can learn more about um, the subjects written on the book. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's time for a game, Zia. Yay! <laughs> I want to pick the number. You want to be the you want to be the one to pick the number? Okay. Sige, sige. How about you guys? Are you excited for a game? 
I'm sure they are. So again, let's bring out our game questions. But before we bring out our game questions, maybe Zia, we can tell them about the mechanics first, right? Sure. Okay, so I'll be the one to tell about the mechanics. Okay, and you're gonna help me out. Game time! Game time! Yay! <laughs> Okay, so these are the mechanics, Zia. For everyone who would want to participate in this game, we will ask them questions. Okay, in this uh, portion, we have a total of five questions. And then they will give their answers or they will indicate their answers in the comment section. Okay. Okay, now, as they indicate their answers, we will pick a number from this. What do you call this? Container, jar, whatever it is. Container. <laughs> container. So we will pick a number from this container. And then the comment that corresponds to the number that you will be picking will be declared the winner. Okay? Now, here's the fun part. Okay? The winner or each winner will be given a Grow Your Wonderful World of Science set. Okay? So there will be a total of five winners, not just three. Okay? For this uh, portion. So I hope you guys were able to listen to our... Um, Lesson earlier, okay? Game face on, okay? Get your cell phones ready. Get your laptops ready. <laughs> stretch your fingers. You, stretch your fingers. Come on. Stretch your fingers. No, this is um whoever comments faster. <laughs> no, actually, you don't need to be fast. You just have to comment. Or your comment just has to correspond the number that we will be picking, okay? So... No, you're you're not part of the contest or you're not part of the game because we're the facilitators. <laughs> and you already have the wonder the grow your wonderful world of science set. So let's give chance to others, okay? All right. So question number one. What do we call the butterfly process, process of transformation or change? Don't say the answer. Is it A? Oh, is it metamorphosis? Is it Metallica? Metallica? Or is it, I don't, I don't know, know the, the answer? answer. <laughs> Place your comments. Place Thank your comments. You okay. Know the I think this is the time when you have to pick the number already. Okay? Pick the number, Zia. Let's show them. Let's show them how you pick the number so that they'll also see. Go pick some, pick some, pick one. Any number. Okay, so you were able to pick number 12. 12. So before we choose the winner, let's take it, let's reveal the correct answer. Of course, the answer is Tada! Metamorphosis. That's right. So let's pick the 12th comment. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are further comments. Wait, so many comments. <laughs> So, yeah, there, there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so congratulations to Shell Decano. Yay! Yay! You are the first winner of the <coughs> sorry, Roller Wonderful World of Science. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Yay. Question number. Tagaliwa natin ni Michelle para makita natin maigi yung question. Okay. Question number two. Dun, 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 dun. There are four main stages in a butterfly life cycle. What are they? Egg larva, pupa, and adult. Teacher, I need a review. I need a review. Or? Uh oh, uh, I did not take notes. Uh oh, did you take notes? No, but I don't Really? Or oh, you tell us later? How about for now? You have to pick a number. Go, pick a number. Pick a number. <coughs> pick a number. We, yeah. got <laughs> we got the number two. Okay, I think those who type faster have an advantage. No? See ya? Kasi we're gonna pick the second to comment. <laughs> okay. So the answer is... Dun, 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 dun. What's the answer, Zia? Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Correct. So now let's find out who is the second to comment the correct answer. Wow. So many people got the correct answer, Zia. So many. So many. So I bet many. one of those people will win in the three more stages. 
That's right. So one and two. two. Congratulations, Cha Joy Between. You just won a Grow Your Wonderful World of Science set. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, now question number three. And there. Which Grow Your book can you use to learn? More about the life cycle of a butterfly and other amazing science plants. One, grow your I wonder why. Two, grow your key. Magic or grow your gear fun. Time I know the answers, answers now. Time to answer. Well, I'm going to choose the number. Yeah, show them, show them, show them. It has to be a complete answer, huh? Okay, so Zia pick the number nine. Okay, while you're typing your answers, let's reveal the correct answer. Whoop. And the correct answer is what do you call, what do you what do you think is the correct answer, Zia? The ninth one. What, what's the ninth one? <laughs> oh, grow your I wonder why. Because schematic is for math and gear fun is for building. That's right. You know Grow Here well. Okay, so Grow Here, I wonder why. And who's the winner? The ninth comment. Okay, yeah. so let's start counting One, already. Two, Hold on. Two. Before we start counting, let's go to the very, very first comment there. So one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There you go. Congratulations to Ersan Rabanera Sanchez. You just won a Grow Your Wonderful World of Science. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. And for the next question, Game Master. How can Grow Your help our kids learn better? Oh, here is the, uh, is the part when they can comment any answer that they can think of. Take your answer. Yes, take your answer. So how about you? What do you how do you think and grow your help kids like you to learn better? Yes, that's right. And there are so many facts written in the books, right? Yeah, you want to be the one to pick the number? Okay. Ten. Okay, you pick the number ten. And so, so this after the winner. Yeah, so, oh yeah, because kanina, di ba, I know that they're not necessarily, you know, um, they call that consecutive. <laughs> it's a coincidence that we picked the number 10 this time. So basically, we can accept any answer as long as it came from their heart and it's related to the question that we raised earlier, right? So let's start reading the answers. Hmm. Wow, there's so many, many, many comments, Zia. Wow, so many comments. And we just have to pick the 10th comment. Hold on. Okay. 10th oh, comment, 10th comment, 10th comment. Wait now. I cannot see the 10th comment. Mm -hmm. Oops, I can't see the first one. Can you see it, Sia? <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. So this is the first comment. One, wait now. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and ten. ten. Congratulations to Pastora Emma Eraskin. Yes, yeah, sabi niya IQ and EQ. I think what she means is it helps or, or Ruler helps our kids develop their IQ and EQ more. So congratulations, Pastora Emma. There you go. So next question. Okay, let's hide first the answer of ano. Yeah, let, let's just share first your answer ni John Ryan since, um, okay, the platform uh, revealed it. So it makes your kids learn faster and it's fun to enjoy with, enjoy learning with Grover. That's right, that's right. Okay, so, ayan. Congratulations to Pastora Emma, Pastora Emma Ereskin, winner of question number four. Okay. Oh, there you go. Question. One last question. Oh, I want, I wish it was 100 questions. 100 questions? Then you will have to uh, to give out 100 prizes. 
Oh, yeah. One million. <laughs> one million. Yes, why not next time, right? Maybe it's, it's feasible this time. <laughs> but for now, let's just choose five winners. Pick a number. Four. But before you reveal the number, oops. Okay, before we reveal the number, read the question first. Where can I send my queries? queries. If I, I want, want to know more know. about Grolier Interactive Learning Materials. Amazing Kids Interactive Center? Okay, where, where can I, I inquire? <laughs> okay, place your answers now. And I since know we're, it. Yeah, okay, you hold it like this and then later you reveal the number, okay? Hold it like this. There you go. Okay, and let's reveal the answer first. The answer, of course, is Amazing Kids Interactive Center. If you want to know more about Grolier and uh, the interactive learning materials that they are uh, that they have, please feel free to check out Amazing Kids Interactive Center. Okay, ready? Open the show. <laughs> and we pick number 11. So the 11th comment will be, or the 11th correct comment will be the winner. Okay? Yes. Okay, let's make sure first that we were able to bring out all the answers this time. So, 11th winner, let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Congratulations to Eva Rosario O. Barnakia. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! You are all winners of Grow Your Wonderful World of Science. Or <laughs> oh, every time I'm with my kids, I become a different person. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Okay. So thank you very much for joining and congratulations again to all the winners. You just won. Okay. A Grow Your Wonderful World of Science set. Okay. So. Yay! Yay! So this is an amazing set of books. Right, Zia? What yeah. have what have you learned from Grow Your Wonderful World of Science so I've far? I've learned about inventions, a little bit of dinosaurs, a little bit of the ocean. Yes, there's so many facts or science facts that you can actually learn from uh, this set of books. So sobrang congratulations to all the winners. I'm excited for your learning journey with Grow Your. And I'm sure you'll love this amazing set of learning materials okay so we, mm -hmm. you can celebrate in your home about that that's, that's right and wait, for it. and wait for it yes yes yes, yes. so for uh celebrate, 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 celebrate. so if you want to know more about how to claim your prizes please uh please send a message to amazing kids interactive center on facebook and don't forget to take a selfie of you and your kid watching this session yeah. okay this live make sure to post it on your uh, profile and follow the mechanics and the caption uh, guidelines that we have given earlier so you can have a chance to win a grow your amazing english set grow your math plate or grow your fun fingers Yay! Butterfly. Wow, butterfly. Well, thank you very much again for learning with us about the life cycle of a butterfly. butterfly. Yes, did you like it, Zia? Did you learn a lot so far? Yeah, it's a bit in Oh, you want more? To those of you who are like Zia, Nana, bit in din. Okay, you want to learn more, or you missed some of the parts of the session in the previous ones, don't worry. Um, you can catch the recorded live versions of our three sessions, okay, or three previous sessions. Yeah, let me just show you. Okay, those three sessions where you have a reference. So basically, these are the dates. Okay. Ayan. So there's a recorded version of the September 12 live with Miss Ayam Decano Serrano um, discussing about math fun. With Miss Nis Ching Naman last Saturday, that's September 19. That's about English communication arts. And of course, today's session will also be a recorded live and it will be posted on Robinson's Townville and Amazing Kids Interactive Center Facebook pages. So if the beating kayo, just like Zia, don't worry, you can still catch the uh, recorded version of those um episodes or those learning sessions okay so this is already the final leg of our learning session series thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for tuning in it has been an amazing three weekends with all of you it has been an amazing learning experience with all of you and of course 
Don't forget to like the FB pages of Robinson's Townville, Amazing Kids Interactive Center, and Grow Your PH to know more about the upcoming sessions that they have for you and your kids. Okay, so <laughs> anything more you would like to say? Not at the moment. Okay, so with that, thank you, thank you so much. You just had learning sessions. And thank you once again to Grow Your International, Grow Your Philippines, Robinson's Townville, and Amazing Kids Interactive Center for making this awesome learning session series possible, making this awesome event possible. Once again, this is Omni La Rosa. And <laughs> we have this has been your um we have been your host for this afternoon and this has been learning sessions thank you very much enjoy learning god bless you guys see you next time be safe, be safe. stay at home learn at home with girls here <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs>